40. You a nigga 40? He gon' Man, you well, God to that nigga, man. Because when he drink that 40, he really gonna be feeling good and think, oh, I love you, man. I seen that shit, I see that shit every day, man. Motherfuckers get that, that liquid courage and that, that love juice, and they just love the enemy. Hands, How many times we've seen that? We back here teaching. We up here trying to tell someone that Israelite, tell them that the Lord come and save them, all that. And then they'll come and start actually hugging the devil. A devil will come up there yeah. and eat them, like, you know, actually hug them, like, yeah, start hug, hug, hugging a goddamn Edomite. Hugging an Edomite, man. How you gonna say Shalom? Who said that? Your boy the Brave. Oh, yeah. Uh, Job 20 11. It says, His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. The wickedness be sweet in his mouth, and we hide it under his tongue, and we spare it and forsake it not, but keep it in, within his mouth. That was good. Uh, so now that's more than that, though, because they keep yeah. it in his tongue and all that. Oh, uh, uh, you look up on. Um, go ahead, go ahead. That, they just talking about the actual balls within him. Yeah, his meat is in his bowels. It's like, yeah, it, yeah, his meat is in his bowels. It's turned. It is the gall of apple venom. The gall of ass, but ass was a poisonous snake. So, I mean, that's why they call this devil the fork tongued devil. The Native Americans said the white man was a devil. He told you that. I mean, and they're like, oh, you're a white guy. How you gonna say the white guy? You gotta deal with that dumb shit. You gonna say and tell me the white man's not a devil? That's what scripture needs to have written for you. It's full of them. I got you. Looking up the definition to by Al, it tells you how by Al, it's, it's, uh, he speaks sweetly and soft. Yeah, he's you know? sweet. Yeah, that's how the white man speaks. He comes at you. He came out. He come, Oh, he likes to come at you with contracts too. They come at you with a nice suit. You make a deal with him, but you, you sign this contract at fucking fine print. This is so goddamn small you can't read it. <laughs> and he's a devil. We're dealing with the devil. You know what I mean? They can say a corporation is a person. And you know, a corporation is not a person. Because you know, in America, a corporation is a person, right? That's how they get they get away with murders. They put everything under the name of a corporation. And, <laughs> fucking faggots, man. Go, I go, go watch it. Man, there's some fucking a really good documentary on that. I forget what it's called, man. Uh, man, it might just be the corporation. When it goes in, how these corporations, how they set this shit up. Just Google maybe corporations are not people. You find stuff. Everything this devil does is based on fucking lies. Deceit. Deceit. Fucking usury. They robbing you usury left and right. Be late on a bill or something, they gonna charge you interest. Oh, fucking car, miss, miss one car insurance payment. They fucking suspend your license. They suspend your license. And then you gotta pay fucking hundreds of dollars to get the shit back, penalties. That's the same thing as usury, even worse. You get a loan, you get a loan, everybody got a mortgage or whatever. You pay interest on that mortgage. That's against the laws of the Bible. 25%. That's a shit. 25%? That's crazy. Yeah. 25%. A lot of times you spend the first, you go get a car, man. You spend in the first year and a half, two years just paying the interest before you can start paying on the fucking car. What about the student yeah. loan debt with that interest? Woo. And the Jews, that's their favorite word. And it's all about the interest. And that shit is reaching two trillion dollars as we speak, man. It's brought it, that, that student loan shit. That's they say that's gonna help bring in that collapse. That's good. It's fucking hustle, man. That, that, man that's crazy. And, you know what, too, loans. though. <laughs> and with the taxes, you know what the taxes do, right? They rob you of your money in the tax. You know how the taxes work. I used to get confused when I was young. I'm like, why do you take my taxes and they give me money back? I never understood it. But I understand now this is what happens. If you get a W-2 form, your employer takes all your money, your taxes out, and puts it in an account, right? And then what happens is the banks get your money year round and they're making, they're taking all that tax money off you. And, and they're making money 
off of your money. They're making a killing off of all your money. At the end of the year, they just give you a, a small, tiny percentage of what they make. Because they're making millions of dollars off your money. And they give you a small fraction of what they earn back. Because that money you get back at the end of the year is part of their profit they made off of. It's all, it's a scam. You know, America is the kingdom of Satan, right? The kingdom of devils. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> Why you say that? I just, for obvious reasons. Huh? Why he said that for obvious reasons. This is a place of, this is a place of devils, man. The scriptures say this is the habitation of devils. It is the habitation of devils. I we said it's a net. Just got finished eating bird shit or something. Some crackers. Eating pigeon, eating pigeon shit and crackers. That dude. That dude was a heat. He had a weird spirit. He looked like Elamite or something. I don't know what the fuck he was. He was one of them other ice we ain't seen in a minute. One of them. Oh uh, yeah. Just. Cause you think this is like little. Sub-heathen group. Do you know you got different forms of Canaanites? And, you know what I'm saying? I'm never going to touch people. Take off with it. Right, but the other day I was at the gas, uh, not the gas, one of these stores over here on the bottom. There's some dude out there, he told me, he's like, watch these girls out there. They're asking everybody to use their phone. And he said they done got like five people. They ask you to use it, then they take your phone and take off with it. What? Yeah, they was getting people left and right. Damn, these people ain't got no wind to get away. Yeah, women getting away from. Them. Oh, you know, wow. that's the thing too. Jake be so out of shape, he can't catch no one. number to the corner, man. Revelation eighteen and one. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, "Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen." So that's talking about America. Uh, in the Bible, America is known as Babylon the Great, and Babylon means confusion because America is a land of great confusion. It's a land where you don't know if it's a man or a woman. Uh, a, young, a young child don't know who his daddy is. Who's my daddy? They got, you know what I mean? There's nothing but confusion out here. You my daddy? Ain't no such thing as a father no more in this piece of shit country. Babylon the Great is fallen. It's fallen. It's, and it's become the habitation of devils. And the hold of every foul spirit in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So that's when America's gonna be destroyed. When America's gonna be destroyed, ain't gonna be nothing over here but like spirits and shit. Desert creatures. And it's gonna be turned to a pile of rocks. These buildings ain't gonna be here. That building gonna be turned to a pile of ashes. Yes. There ain't gonna be no state house. There ain't gonna be no coat of buses, none of this shit. It's all gonna be destroyed. Can't fucking wait. Can't fucking wait. This shit gotta be destroyed. It has to be. It's gonna be because it was promised. <laughs> Channel 6 News. It's only news, it's only real news right here. Six on your side. That just sounds satanic for some reason. Six on your side. I'm gonna get the, the news on camera. Hey, fuck you, faggot. Hey, you faggot bitch. <laughs> for somebody popular in Columbus to come get cussed out, man. Yeah, it's been a minute since we ran into one of these fucking celebrities. I want to cuss out a devil. You are a real devil. That's a scary thing. <laughs> Let him stay the night over at your crib. Huh. I was smelling like shit afterwards. <laughs> he'd, have all, he'd, he'd walk to the carry, I'll get a ham. <laughs> a whole ham? Yeah, he ain't got no money, got but he'll, he gonna come home with that ham, though. <laughs> <laughs> shit. 
Don't have no pet. That nigga look like he a pound of pet shit out of the front end, dog. He's gonna eat it in front of all these. These niggas look like devils, man. They got spirits on. They really do got spirits on. Evil though. spirits. Evil spirits. Spirits are real. <laughs> shit. I'm going back to this Jeremiah 51. Uh, verse 3 and against him that bendeth. Let the archer be in his bow. And this is straight up going back. With, and this is precept for that revelation I just read. Yep. Against that. him that bent him, let the archer be in his bow. And against him that lifted himself up in his brigadine. And spare ye not her young men. Destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Man, hosts, that means armies. Army, Navy, yep. Air Force, Marines. Yep. Uh, special, uh, they got the Black Ops. Which ain't part of none of them. <laughs> hey, man, how you doing? What's up, my man? My man. Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm about to puke anyway. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at <laughs> Wait, why do I got it rubbed? And somebody already let her out the land. Rubbed them with the orangutan titties. Orangutan <laughs> <laughs> titties. Dried up orangutan titties. Oh man, I can't suck on that fucking. Oh man, I can't suck on orangutan titties. Nah, they all hanging to niggas. They got bumps on them. They got like the you know I said the titties be all bumpy. They like like. I mean, no kind of firmness, they dried just, up of no fat, it's just skin. Nipple look like a raisin. Skin and blood vessels. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty bitches. And hey, that's a curse too, though, shit. Mm -hmm. That's a curse. The Lord said they vengeance shall fail. That's right. They gave them sagging ass titties, that nappy ass hair, stinking ass breath, fucked up teeth. Oh, that's, yeah. a, that's the Lord that did that to y'all. Don't get mad at us. He, didn't do it. he fucked me up too. I mean, shit. I would have done it if I had the power, but yeah. he didn't do it. <laughs> shit. These undisciplined ass proud bitches. Man, I wish I could have the power to do it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Verse 4 Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are trust through, trust through in her streets. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power of the Lord of hosts. Though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Oh yeah, this whole land out here is full of sin against the Holy One of Israel. Mm. And that's really what that's talking about. Talking about you people. Talking about because you, the Holy One of Israel, that's your how your how about serving your house up. Y'all, y'all don't even know what that you people have done. Evil generation of vipers. They got no concept of any kind of morality. Mm -mm. We talking about the Ten Commandments. They break all the commandments. Mm. They might not have murdered nobody, but a whole bunch of adulterers, a bunch of thieves, a bunch of liars. Quick. It's a lot of murderers here. Too. They're, they're, they're more than you think, ain't right. it? Right, it really is, man. Hey, you know what, though? I got a scripture, really though. Because the, the book of 1 John, that says, the who the, whoever don't love his brother is a murderer. Ooh. And a liar, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It says, you, hey, let's get this scripture. So even if you didn't actually commit murder. You still got that spirit of a murder on you. Right, that murder get out of prison come home, they embrace that motherfucker like he got. Like that Barabbas spirit. Yeah. Yeah. No morals, like you said, no morals whatsoever. Babylon has been a cup. Babylon's like, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. But you know, I was, I was, like, I was just thinking though, we was talking about morals, I was just thinking. You know, they actually just, adultery is not even, they, they don't even know what that is. They, that's, they don't even understand the concept. The, the concept of adultery has been totally taken out of society. And there's like no remembrance of what it, it means to be an adulterer. And what, there's no remembrance of what, you know, that that, that was something that was wrong and evil. But these motherfuckers is actually, they don't even understand that when they sucking on five dicks a week, that that's, that's against the law. Mm -hmm. They don't understand that. Mm -hmm. They think it's okay to fuck whoever they want to. Ooh, man, they think it's okay to be a fucking hoe. It's yeah. not okay. That's and they right. think they think that, that it's okay to, to break up with your husband 
Like, we ain't feeling each other no more. Just change the locks, so nigga. You can't around Yeah, I need a change. I need a change. That's a woman. A woman always need a change. Get a fucking restraining order. Nigga, a restraining, get child support. Yeah, this man done maintained the yard, fixed up shit on all night, maintenance around the house. Just because she got bored of you, she right. going to leave your ass. Right. Paid all kind of bills, the, the mortgage, the all the bills. Car, got the bitch a car. Man, these motherfuckers are stupid. But it's just fuck the men, fuck them, man. Yep. Cause they falling for the holy ghost. What they call? What they call cucks now? A bunch of fucking cucks. A bunch of faggot bitches. Faggot. Stupid. Stupid. Um, what was I? Or six. Be out of the midst of anger, not alone. And deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. So, so yeah, so America's gonna get their recompense. Just like the book of Revelation said, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with a sword shall be killed with the sword. That's well, that recompense. It's like, uh, what Lamentation well, say that Esau gonna drink that cup and he gonna drink of the dregs. No wonder no out here this gonna fuck my Lord said, beginning that scripture, he that have an ear, let him hear. These motherfuckers ain't got ears, man. All they got is a belly. Keep filling their fucking bellies. All these motherfuckers are spiritually, what you want to call a baby that's born deformed, deformed, deformed children with no ears. Three <laughs> You know, with no ears or no fucking brain to yeah. function, man. Oh, yeah. You know? That, that, they below. Yeah, they below down syndrome. Stupid. Them Oblade, Oblade motherfuckers. Stupid. Yeah, GMO, GMO baby. baby. Yeah, GMO baby. That's oh, worse. GMO than, baby is on. Uh, that's worse than a crack baby. That's worse than a crack baby. That's second answer. GMO baby once that was. Cool. Cause now back we had crack babies. Now these motherfuckers, crack is old. They don't even do crack. Do they even do crack no more? Yeah, this is going to low low. This is going to low low. Nah, man, that ain't shit. Ain't strong enough. Now they on that Molly, that they meth. Well, they're the fucking. I, I know motherfuckers that's doing everything. Yeah, they do everything. They have everything. I heard somebody talk, talk about skywalking. Means you what the fuck did, is that? Uh, Skywalker, I guess it means you take a bunch of different drugs at once. Well, man, good. I'm happy. Good. I'm doing the same work, man, until this place is done, man. You know? Hey, man. How many deaths you hear about the last couple of weeks here in Columbus, man? That's not normal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not normal, man. You know, so we command to get out here and, and prophesy. Prophecies mean to speak of something before it happens. You know, so we got here prophesying that this place is about to go. She's about to go. A skywalking. Skywalking. This American, whole country as a whole. That's what. That's the spirit. That's what we're talking about in the scripture right here. That I'm reading. Jeremiah. Right, right, about to go. Like, it's like about to be destroyed by thermonuclear missile. Soon. We can't. I mean, we don't know the time. That's the hour, we hope it's soon as possible. You know, but it's coming soon. Because you see what's going on over in the Middle East. You see what's going on over in Europe, like the Ukraine area. What's going on over in the Korean Peninsula? Everybody's getting ready for war. And Russia. America's they're telling their allies to increase your military budget to meet ours. Oh, know? Russia just sent a memo to well, even Britain because they America's ally. They said all, all students all got to come home. Oh, yeah, well, that's right. That's they right. telling everybody to come right. home to Russia that's out out abroad. You ever heard of the war, the World War Three? Yeah. You ain't never heard of World War Four though. Huh. <laughs> right. World War Three is the war that's going to end all wars. Yeah. Thermo nuclear missile. Hey, that's, that's a, all prophesied. That's in the scripture. Right. They're talking about the three woes. Whoa. Right. There's right. the first woe, the second woe, and the third woe. That's right. It says, uh, I'm going to read six again. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. Babylon is just another name for America. Babylon. No, Babylon means confusion. It's a Hebrew word. Babal right. is a Hebrew word that means confusion. And that was the name of the we the Babylonian Empire. But now the new Babylon is America. Right. This is a land of great confusion. That's why you see multiple. Actually, you see every nation on the earth here in America now. Yep. Establishing itself, trying to prosper, trying to get ahead. Every nation on the earth is in America now. And just like the Tower of Babylon. Right, Tower Remember of Babylon. The Tower of Babylon. Right. Right. Yeah, the Tower and of Babylon. And they come here and they're taught to, uh, to learn English, you know? A lot of times you go to a place that got interpreters, but they're still encouraged to learn English. Just like ancient Babylon. Trying to get them to speak, speak one, one language. language. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. You don't come here. You ain't coming here to America to be a trend best like this. Nah. You didn't come here to do that, did you? Or to get your shit cut off? Cause yeah. you got special programs. Get your shit cut off now. No, nah, no. Nah, okay. Nah, nah. Okay, be not cut off in her nickel. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you like pussy, right? I'm hell yeah. God <laughs> uh, For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Yeah, because all America done spread all that filth across the earth, all this, all that faggot shit, and all this. You see how they going? That's another way to how they're attacking Iran, Saudi Arabia, because they are, they allow them, them men on men, and they, they and they got their women in check. Yeah. They don't, you know, they don't, they ain't trying to give their women all the liberty they give them no. here in America. Hell right? no. Yeah, they trying to do that in Saudi know, Arabia. You open up some of these bitches' legs, man, and you gotta call the police. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, or call the city. Yeah, call the city. Call the city. Right. 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 Don't say, oh man, come on, man. A woman's, a woman's supposed to be with one oh, man plumber. her whole life. Unless her husband dies, then through the law of the Lord, she's allowed to go find another husband. Yeah. If he drops dead. But and these women, man, man this country, like you was talking about, man, get out. We got to talk. Get the locks changed. The adultery, thou shalt not commit adultery when the Ten Commandments. Man, that shit's legal in America, you know? That shit's lawless, fucked up. Lawless, lawless Them other nations don't play that. You go to Saudi Arabia, you commit adultery, bro. You, yeah, I'm scared. Like, I'm scared of World War IV, man. Uh, World War III. World War III. I ain't scared. Shit, I, I can't wait for That's it. what you want, though. This World War III has to happen in order for the kingdom of heaven to be established. It has to happen. Anything's good. I, don't you want a dream to see that all this shit destroyed? Don't you want to have you know? multiple wives? You know what I mean? And the white man, none of them can call the 911. Yeah, there ain't gonna be no 911 you know in the kingdom. <laughs> you know what I mean? Multiple wives. You're gonna have unlimited, as all Israelites, you're gonna have unlimited riches. Unlimited riches? You're gonna have your own fucking planet. <laughs> Shit, literally. You know? I, I can get God. You're going, no, we you're are going God. to be a God. We are gods right now. Right, actually. we're just stripped of our power. Yeah. You read uh, Psalms 82, yeah. it tells you how the we're gonna die like men. Right. Right. We don't die like men to tell you. When we die like men, because right now we still die, bro, but we, we stripped of our power. Because we, we didn't look to the Lord, so he stripped us. So he said we're going to die like men until that day, you know? At that day, the scripture says those that wait upon the Lord, he's going to renew their strength. You know? Go ahead. Real quick. Real quick. If you're a man of the Lord, you should be, you know, afraid. This is a... Uh, they ain't should be afraid of, because first of all, there ain't no such thing as death anyway. That's a, a little secret, go ahead. Yeah. 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 mystery. Yeah. Here, O oh, ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, which means it's near. But I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for God is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord God. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift themselves up. Here you go, here you go, so. The men of the Lord in that day, when all this hell breaks loose, that the Lord's gonna cause here to happen in America, or he's gonna cause chaos. And I'm talking about he's gonna cause, I mean, a chaos that we can't even speak about. The, the building gonna fall down? The building? Hell yeah, everything's coming down. They're gonna down. get hit by missiles. Everything's coming down, man. 